Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. The topic of this 10 minute moan is a bizarre story which came out of Paisley. The one big massive bit of information, oddly missing from the report. Now, I'll read out the report to you and see if you can guess. There is actually a couple of things that people will guess, but the one is very, very new missing thing, right? So this is from Glasgow Live website and just came out about half an hour ago. The story's been out for a bit, but this <clears throat> latest information, minus one thing. Man arrested and charged after Paisley Homes evacuated after suspicious item found. Emergency services were called to George Street area of town following a report of a car on fire this morning with residents evacuated as a precaution. A man was, has been arrested and charged after a number of homes in Paisley were evacuated over a number of suspicious items. Emergency services were called to George Street area of the town following a report of a car on fire around 8am today, Monday the 2nd of September. Firefighters extinguished the blaze. Police Scotland confirmed specialist resources were at the scene to assess the suspicious items but confirmed there was no threat to the public. A 41-year-old man was arrested and charged and is due to appear at Paisley Sheriff Court tomorrow. A statement from the force reads, A 41-year-old man has been arrested and charged after emergency services were called to George Street in Paisley following a report of a car fire around 8.15am on Monday the 2nd of September 2024. The fire was extinguished However, a number of suspicious items were found in the common close of a building nearby. Specialist resources from Police Scotland assessed these and found no threat to the public. No one was injured. The 41-year-old man is due to appear in Paisley Sheriff Court tomorrow, Tuesday, 3rd of September. And here ends the police statement. Now, it might be me. Because I'm 51 now, so I might be gone daft, right? But I'm quite sure when someone is arrested, the police don't normally make public details of who they are and what they're being arrested for, what crime. But when they're charged, is it not normal to tell us what they're charged with? And I might be getting ahead of myself here, but I'm thinking suspicious package, don't know what it is. No. We're saying it was no threat to the public. But what was it? And why is there no list of what this man's been charged with? I just find it bizarre. I find it bizarre some of the ways news has been um, reported recently. I find it very strange the way some of the police um, reports, police press releases are worded and I just find it a bit odd that this has gone on all day and it almost, well this report came out I think about quarter past nine at night, ten past, eleven minutes past nine to be exact and the police haven't said what the man's charged with. He's going to court tomorrow, so they must know what he's charged with because they'll have found out the crime thing, sent it up to the procurator, they've said charge him, so they'll know how, it's, how he's been charged. Yet you're not allowed to know. So something happened in Paisley today, some package was found, which we're told it's no danger to the public, but it's something that's illegal because the man's been arrested and charged. And I just find this sort of stuff very weird. Now we will know once he's been to court. So what's the secret? He's got to court tomorrow. And it is normal when you think about when people are charged. They actually tell you, the public, what they're charged with. Frightening, isn't it? So there we go. At least it's not a knife attack this time. At least nobody's dead. At least nobody is in hospital through injuries. But it's just another weird, weird thing about the crimes that are going on in our streets, that we're not really allowed to know what's going on. It's very peculiar. 
But if you want others to see this video, please hit the thumbs up because it will help the analytics and the algorithm. If you've not already done so, please consider subscribing uh, and hitting the notifications bell. But most importantly of all, unless you're one of these naughty people that's getting arrested for having knife crime or, in this guy's case, some substance that we're not allowed to know about, see everybody else. Have a great day. Cheerio bye now. Thank you.